This is Twit. So, mm. hi, Paul. Hi, Mary Jo. Anything happened while we were gone? Well, one Funny or two things. It. Is, there a new, <laughs> is there a new Windows or anything like that? Yeah, Actually, there a is. Little what? News. What? Mm -hmm. I know. So, what? yeah. What happened? Guess, yeah. guess what? This is great. For once... Since we've been doing feature updates for Windows 10, Microsoft actually did a blog post talking about RTM, but they didn't call it RTM. They just said, "Yeah, but you know what? Let's, we're going to take this as a win." I, they a literally win. said, "It's a huge they said, win." This, it's, it, they said it's done. It's yeah. done. They've never said that, to my knowledge. No, I mean, never. ever since maybe the very first version, yeah. right? Yep. Windows 10 1909 is done. Coming in November, they're going to call it the November update. I guess that's because still funny, but you know what? Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna let that one pass because they said it was done. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so right now it's in the release preview ring among insiders. I think soon it will go to people working at Microsoft so they can deploy it in their desktop and be another group of people testing it. Right. And then. It'll start rolling out to the mainstream in November. We don't know exactly when in November, but I do know that server 1909 is supposed to be around mid-November. So right. either they'll make client just shortly before that or they'll or they'll make them simultaneous. You know, it's interesting. Um, so lost you're telling in all me the that September's, the September 2019 release is coming out in Yeah, but you know what? Again, we're going to let that one pass. It's fine. <laughs> okay. It's yeah. a because they it's said a it was done. Yeah. <laughs> I, this this has cured all of the yeah. other problems. Um, last year, remember, at the October hardware event, they prematurely yes. announced the release of 1809 yes. at the time. Yeah. Uh, they had to pull it back. It was a terrible disaster, et cetera, et cetera. You know, this event, of course, it was all the stuff that was going on with the event this year. And, and we kind of forgot about this little tidbit, but they did not announce anything about Windows mm -hmm. 1909 or anything, any other version. Of, well, they, they announced Windows 10X, but... Um, yeah. The November date is concurrent with Ignite, and that would seem like a fairly logical mm -hmm. time to discuss this, you know, and how they change things. And hopefully, if we're really lucky, and I, I know you don't think this is going to happen, you've been told it's not going to happen, but maybe this will be the new normal <laughs> for Windows releases. Um, you know, maybe it will. I've heard both. I've heard things both ways. I've heard some people saying, from now on, this is going to be how it goes. The the oh, fall God. update is going to be the small update. And yeah, that would be beautiful. Then I've heard other people saying, you know what? This was a one-off thing because they were syncing up the schedules of the Azure yep. engineers and the Windows engineers. And no, this is not how it's going to be. It's all, it's going to go back to the way it was. Yeah, but you know, feedback has a funny way of changing things. I think they're going to get a lot of yeah. really positive feedback about this. Me too. Yep. I mean, aside Agreed. from the logical arguments we've been making for the past two, three years, whatever, uh, this t every you know six-month thing is untenable. And mm -hmm. so making the second of those uh, a, a service pack or yep. whatever you want to call that um, is exactly right. It is. It's, it's what right. they should do. I know. So if you're on 1903 when this starts rolling out, to you, this will look like a cumulative update. It'll be really small. It'll install yep. really fast. And it will be very like a lightweight upgrade update to 1903. You might kind if of not on, even notice it, really. I mean. I know, right. Yeah. If you, but There's if you're nothing. on an earlier update, it's going to look like a typical feature update to you. Yeah. Right. So it won't be quick and easy. It'll be like a regular feature update. Okay. So, yep. and then the other <laughs> bonus news, none of the new features are turned on. And that's my understanding. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, uh, right. <laughs> Don't that's, rush you know what, to though. get it because... Well, I guess you could turn them on. Why aren't but they turned on? But from an end user perspective, there's nothing there, right? If you're yeah. an individual running Windows 10, I don't believe there's a single change that matters to you that you would want to turn but on. But you can't you not uh, do this. I mean, uh, you can not do it um, for some amount can, of time. Yeah, you what's, can. You can postpone it, right? What's the um, yeah. can, can you defer for more than a month now? Or But see, you this can. isn't the one you defer. Right? Uh, I honestly. I mean, I, I guess you couldn't do this as an individual, right? Not this much time. But that major update that comes out in the spring, that mm -hmm. would be the one to defer. Oh, and right. when this thing comes out, that's the one you should get, right? Because this this is basically, you know, 1903 plus plus or whatever. It's, it's mm -hmm. you know, they've, they've released several, well, probably more than several cumulative updates addressing security and bug fixes, et cetera. 
this is the fine-tuned version. They're on the same um, what do you, uh, support path. You know, the, the all of the yeah. updates that 1903 gets. They're yep. the same version that goes to 1909. This is this was the promise of Windows as a service, right? The one version of Windows that we never really got. Um, it's kind of a microcosm of it or a, a, a miniature version of it, but it's it is the dream, you know, that you you only have one Windows and you ship one update for one bug, and that's how it works. I mean, today they ship you know seven or six updates, whatever it is, for one bug. So that's kind of nice, mm -hmm. and. Um, I, I, yeah. Like I said, I hope this is the plan. I hope this is it. I hope this is the way they, they, they yeah. do this going forward. Yeah. Hmm. Cross your fingers. So if, if you do take the 1909 update, you get 30 months of support for that one. If you're yeah. enterprise and education. Yeah. I don't think it's home still, right? No, no it's not. No. Um, but that's, that's good. That means you could technically just avoid the spring update if you don't want to mess with something that's going to have more new features and you want to stay on something that's more stable and has been tested more, just stay on right. the updates that end with 09. <laughs> right? The, yeah. Yes. No, yes. I'm just <laughs> laughing because no, it's such a weird, right. it's, yeah, yep. it's correct. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Even So yeah, we know the name doesn't match up with the month. 09 implies it was RTM'd in September, which mm -hmm. maybe uh, yeah, it but was. Did, did I mention <laughs> that they announced that it was completed? Yes, I know. I'm I'm all in with you on on this is <laughs> what, a win. Why, wait, why is that a big deal though? You got to explain to me. Because they mean? have never once said, "Oh, by the way, the code for the latest version of Windows is complete. Wow. We yeah. have shipped it off to manufacturing or whatever that. we do these days." They've never said it. Wow. They refuse to say it. Wow. And you we know brought what? It up what every it, single time. What it did by not saying that, it just set off endless speculation. Like you'd see stories being like, oh, I think this is the RTM. This, oh no, this one is the RTM. And then people were like, okay, just tell me when it's done. Like, and then Microsoft well, wouldn't say it was done. And for people <laughs> who listen to this show in particular who might be in the Windows Insider program or enthusiasts and want to test the next version, et cetera, et cetera, you know, one of the other bits of confusion or uncertainty around that never admitting that something was done issue is that they would start. They would just suddenly start testing the next version in the Insider program, and you could be bumped to the next version right. of Windows, where you might want to uh, get off that train. You oh, know, I used so to they, refer to that. They weren't opening the, the magic window, window for you, right? Paul, talk right. about no, the magic the window. Paul's magic. Well, window. the magic window is has been nailed shut, um, <laughs> or I should say, has been left wide open. I'm just gonna. I'm yeah. loading it so I can just see what it looks like now. But there is a, now a switch in yes. um, Windows settings. That. Yeah. yeah, that says stop yeah. getting preview builds. And what's nice about it is. You stop getting builds at the time you turn it off, but once that version of Windows is released, you get on that that train. You get on the production update yeah. schedule. This is um, so you don't need the window because Microsoft. That's right. Will do it for that's you. That's right. That's good. That's right. Yeah. It's good. It's just, it's it better. is good. I and bet they noticed uh, a lot of people doing it. And they said, "Oh, we should really make that." Well, you know, well, what happened, of course, was um, I think it was eighteen oh nine. Yeah, it would have been eighteen oh nine. I like because I do this for a release write this article about the magic window. They yeah. finalized it. Everything's yeah. good. You yeah. can get on the production train. Yeah. And then they had to pull it back. Oh. And then right. all of a sudden it was like, okay, so here's what you got to do. Uh, put your computer back on the Insider program. <sighs> go into this particular ring. Download the one build and then get yourself out of the Insider. It was like this real stupid process, right? And so by having this switch, um, you just guarantee that that's not going to happen to you again. If there is a mistake, if something like 1809 does happen again, that will be automatic for you. It's something you don't have to worry about. Um, for mm -hmm. the more normal situation... I think a lot of people in the Insider program probably do want to test a particular version of Windows 10. When it comes out, they want to stay there for a little while. Maybe they want to jump in in the next version in a few months or whatever it is. Um, they want to enjoy this brief period of stability, mm -hmm. God forbid. And there's a nice little switch there. No, it's not. It's it's. I, I'm not <laughs> dumping on it. It's a wonderful change. It's common sense. It's good. Yeah. It's just like them announcing that they finished it. Good. Yep. Nice. It feels weird not having something to complain about, but... <laughs> to get over that. Don't worry, you're going to find because... something else. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure, but no, it's good. I, I mean, I I feel like uh, you know, uh, for myself as you know, perceived as a critic or a complainer or whatever, I complain when there are things that are wrong. Uh, it's nice because this is right, and it's nice to be able to say this is a good thing. You know, I don't mm -hmm. feel like I get to say that a lot. It's not because of me necessarily it's because i think because there's been a, okay it could be both but the point is i'm just happy that things are the way they are right and now. we're so happy you're happy exactly 